No oil leak, we gotta get rid of it. So this TV I had for a month, 27, Zenith. It's a curved screen kind of deal. Hacky man, hacky man says that uh, it's like, man, it's whatever. And I think he's 100% uh, correct on that. It's man, whatever. But it's a decent TV for someone. Someone wants to give me $60 for it. I don't know why these things are going for good money now, but I, I'm not into it for that much. That's a good cord. Everything's good on it. I wiped it down and the dude's coming soon. Yeah. Don't, don't need this shit in my life. I'm not playing Super Nintendo. I don't care. I have a nice computer that does everything. Truck squatting again. We got squat, scrap metal. The power. This thing has weird aspect ratio. I don't like it. But do. And uh, if the guy wants them, he's getting these things too. Absolutely for free. I don't want it. Holy shit, this boomer is driving an infinity down the street and it's knocking like he has no gas and like cheap gas in it. How do they do this to these vehicles, these people? I don't even know if this guy can get in the gate right now. I think they changed the protocol. Like there may not be anyone even monitoring it anymore. How, how do they not monitor it when you pay $635 a month to live here? Uh, how? We'll see what happens. If, if they have nobody after six at the gate to answer the phone, um, this company is going to get bashed so bad on the internet. Put that one inside, but um, one more to go. Mostly garbage. Garbage. Oh, they better be able to get in the gate. Uh, Seniors, that's a cool brand though. I forget what they're out of.